What's up guys, Ronaldo here and welcome to this DPS showdown between Alistair, Hex and no one other than Nocturne himself. So we're gonna take a look at who is the heaviest hitter, who is the heaviest hitter in terms of magic single target damage of the platform units out of Nocturne, Alistair and Hex, the three magic damage single target top tier units basically. And um, I'm pretty sure you guys will be surprised by the end how much damage and how close they're actually matched. And also we're gonna go over um, how they not only compare in guild boss but also overall who is the best unit out of these three because the highest damage in guild boss doesn't exactly mean the best out of these three at all. And also something I want to state about Nocturne that uh, gives him insane, insane potential that I also want to put into the conclusion as well. Now in terms of the conditions here, as you can see, Hex has pretty good gear here. This is Hex's gear with a maxed out Spirit Siphon, then a maxed out Tear of Twilight for Alistair and this gear right here for Alistair. And after the first run, we're gonna take out Alistair, put in Nocturne and give Nocturne the exact same gear that Alistair has now equipped and then we will be able to exactly see how well these three units compare with each other. Another thing to consider is that we have Hex A1, which gives him an unfair advantage over the other two guys, but luckily for you guys, I got it in my head, saved up the exact number that I used to do with the exact same gear with Hex before I got this A1 because I just got this A1 uh, last weekend. So there is that. So I can, um, so we can be fair. And I think let's get right into the guild boss run and see how these guys line up against each other. All right, so this is the lineup we're gonna use uh, for the first run and for the second run, we're gonna replace our Alistair for our um, Nocturne and give and Nocturne the same gear as Alistair. Um, I can't use them all in the same team because I tried before and the problem is really Nocturne's and Alistair's range make it hard to put them all together. So they will all get the Dolores buff and on top of that will all get the Laurel and the um, Leia Rage Chen and on top of that to get all of these three guys also um, the Invic buff, it's literally impossible to do that uh, with the placements because there's too many platform units this way. But now with the Silitu, we can do it. Right, we placed on Alistair and we placed Dolores immediately because Alistair somehow refuses to get the Invic buff otherwise. Let's just hope he got it now. Invic buff, Invic buff, perfect. All right, both of them have the Invic buff ready to go. And now we can place down our Zillitu as well. We place down our Statrum and our boy here. And we already can pop, pop them ultis. There we go. <coughs> And then we will see how well these guys perform. Take out our Leia. Meteorite impact coming in. Get our Satrum ready to rinse him down. There we go. Get everything up. Got another Dolores ult immediately back up again. Who's Alistair? Solo use Leia. There we go. Get rid of Leia. With her in here. 
there we go now we're gonna wait until um, some more ultimates are ready until we use our <laughs> girl here there we go now we can get rid of her as well use our setrum use our only lineup to get rid of this shield asap there we go get another dolores ult running get their ults back up <laughs> Going quite well, another hex ult again. <coughs> Followed by him. Followed by. Do we use Laurel here? Yeah, we should. Laurel, there we go. <coughs> Good to. Pyros. Gonna use all our ults again for the shield here. Who did a rage region comp? There's no problems with the shield whatsoever. I'm gonna wait for uh, our Laurel to despawn after we popped our. Um, Pyrosol, this way we get a 25% bonus damage on some of our units. Then um, we'll use this ult, this, this, there we go. This, everything again stacked up. We're already at the 30k mark. Doing quite well even without Silas here. Doing quite well even without Silas. And let's see. Alright, the run is almost finished. It's almost finished. Um, we're at 35k. And we will let it run for a bit here. Thirty-seven. 37,000 blood and let's see the comparison let's see the comparison between them all right so we have 90 million damage on hex guys we have 90 million damage on hex he's performing immaculate immaculate and then we have 60 million on our Alistair and now before we get and jump into the conclusion let's do the run with Nocturne and then I'll be back all right, now I had to stop a bit earlier, but let's see how they match up here. So, 40 million damage for Nocturne, unfortunately, only 40 million damage. And Hex again on top. Now, Nocturne did 19% of the damage and Hex 35. All right, now that we saw the damage, guys, we can take a final conclusion, right? So, in terms of guild boss damage, at A0, my Alice there was able to perform the best, right? Hex was only getting 59 million damage, while Alice there got 65 million damage, almost. Because, or at least over 61, a lot more. Because the Radiant Erosion damage is not counted, guys. It's not shown in the damage recap, and this is why Alice there gets even more damage. Now, in terms of the guild boss damage, and then we, we now we first will rate up their guild boss ranking and then their overall ranking for all of the con. So, <clears throat> even though we have that in our mind, Hex will be by far the strongest out of these three for the guild boss for some different reasons and that are mainly also part of his awakenings. His awakenings are extremely strong, his A1 and A3 are extremely strong. On top of that, 
He and also Nocturne have a lot more potential to go up than my Alistair, because you have to consider my Alistair already had a legendary lord in his lineup, whereas uh, Hex and Nocturne had only a epic lord. Yeah, they didn't have a legendary twin fiend to help them get their stats boosted. So they still have more upside in that aspect. Then another thing that Hex that puts Hex even further up is that he actually can get Erika as his lord together with Silas and therefore he will get even more damage because Erika will be a bigger boost for Hex's damage than a Twin Fiend will be for example because he will also not be locked out of his auto hits during Twin Fiend's ultimate, right? So keep that in mind, this is also why Hex has a lot of extra potential. But there's more to his Hex potential and that is Silas guys. Now Silas is the final straw that puts Hex even further up against in comparison to Nocturne and the Alistair and that is this right here. You might think what, what does Silas have to do with Hex? This right here. When there are more than two marksmen on the field increases the damage of the hero and one random, random allied marksman by 15%. Yeah. So usually you have Silas, Hex and Satram in the guild boss. So you will always get use of this. And 15% on top of that. Yeah, Imagine your Hex deals 100 million. After that he deals 115 million. Hex has so many benefits that he is the strongest guild boss slayer out of all these three. Then the other two are pretty much on a similar level I'd say pretty much on a similar level. They both deal a good amount of damage, but they cannot get all the benefits that Hex can. They don't have such a high upside that Hex has. Then in terms of the best unit out of these three in comparison, I would give it easily guys, easily to Alistair. I truly believe Alistair is the best unit out of, the th out of these three because Alistair is good in guild boss, as you just saw. He's amazing in Void Rift, amazing guys. And he's amazing for gear rate 1. He has the most versatility out of these three. Because he is better than these two in Void Rift. And on top of that, amazing for gear rate 1, he has way more versatility. Yeah. On top of that, for the Void Rift, yeah, this damage reduction helps a lot in with these extremely hard enemies in the new Void Rifts that are coming in. And it's getting harder and harder. On top of that, with the insane resistances, with the consistent true damage that he deals to, through their resistances, amazing. He's amazing to deal with these adjudicators at the Selene stage, for example. On top of that, the Radiant Erosion deals insane amounts of damage in Void Rift as well. And he just has so much value and so much damage. He just has so much damage even without his ultimate pop because of the true damage, because of his talent. It's amazing. It's amazing how versatile he is. Now, <coughs> the second place will go to Hex simply because of his insane, insane uh, guild boss slayer potential. And I truly believe Hex uh, and um, also Nocturne are on a similar level in the Void Rift. Whereas I don't believe that Hex is slightly better because Hex is a lower cost, he has a invisibility as well <coughs> and uh, also a higher range which gives him quite a few advantages over Nocturne. Now Nocturne has the advantage, two advantages over all of them and that is he's able to deal with gear rate 2. Yeah? He's one of the few units that can be a single unit to deal with gear rate 2 on his own yeah? as the single DPS. And there's a big upside, guys, a big upside that I wanted to talk with you for about Nocturne at the beginning that no one ever mentioned and it's actually insane. It's insane. That is, we take a look here at the Nightmare Void Rift and we go and take a look at this right here. This artifact is insane. It's insane. This exclusive Nocturne artifact is nuts. Yeah. It gives him a lot a higher chance to trigger his true damage and whenever it's triggered he gains a lot of rage back. Yeah. Now if you <coughs> eventually max this out, he basically self-sustains his ultimate. 
almost yeah he basically has such a high uptime on his ultimate which will bump his consistency and his dps up so much and which will truly truly give nocturne such a big boost and i truly believe this artifact will be extremely strong for nocturne in the future once we've got more access to it this artifact is so strong so strong but yeah uh, that was basically the dps showcase um in terms of guild boss damage hex on top followed by uh, alistair and nocturne in terms of overall um, viability alistair on top followed by hex and then nocturne now i will have a uh, other dps showdown a bit more of a in-depth dps showdown over different competitions between boreas and comet coming up they will compete in gear rate one gear rate two avoid rift everywhere yeah so make sure to not uh, miss that subscribe and i hope you enjoyed i'm ronaldo and i'm out peace